Once upon a time in a small, quaint village, nestled in the heart of a lush forest, there lived a young man named Leo. Leo was known far and wide for one thing, his laziness. He had the unique ability to procrastinate even the simplest of tasks until they became insurmountable mountains of work. His neighbors often shook their heads in disbelief at his lack of motivation, and his family had long given up trying to change him. One sunny morning, as Leo lounged on his porch, his eyes half closed in a lazy daze, a stranger arrived in the village. The newcomer, a wise old man with a long flowing beard and sparkling blue eyes, was known as Master Theo. He had traveled the world, spreading wisdom and helping people overcome their shortcomings. The villagers gathered around the newcomer, eager to hear his words of wisdom. Master Theo began to speak, his voice filled with an air of authority that demanded everyone's attention. Laziness is a curse that can be transformed into a blessing, he said, looking directly at Leo, who couldn't help but shift uncomfortably in his chair. Intrigued, the villagers gathered closer, and Leo perked up a little, curiosity momentarily replacing his usual indolence. To conquer your own laziness, continued Master Theo, you must first understand its root cause. Laziness often stems from a lack of purpose, direction, or motivation. Leo pondered these words as the crowd nodded in agreement. He had never thought about his laziness in this way. It was as though a light had been shone on his life, revealing a hidden truth he had never considered. Master Theo then announced that he would be staying in the village for a month, and he offered to mentor anyone willing to confront their laziness and transform it into a newfound sense of purpose. Leo was hesitant, but something in the wise man's eyes made him want to give it a try. With newfound determination, Leo approached Master Theo and said, I want to overcome my laziness. I want to find my purpose and never be lazy again. The old man smiled and agreed to help Leo on his journey. Over the next month, Leo became Master Theo's pupil, and their days were filled with lessons, challenges, and introspection. Leo began to realize that his laziness was not a character flaw, but rather a symptom of a deeper issue. Master Theo taught him that finding a purpose required self-discovery, so Leo embarked on a journey to explore his interests and passions. They spent their mornings in the forest, where Leo learned the art of mindfulness from Master Theo. Leo discovered the beauty of nature and the tranquility that came with being fully present in the moment. He also began to find joy in the simple tasks, like gardening, that he once avoided. In the afternoons, they delved into philosophy and literature, opening Leo's mind to new ideas and perspectives. Master Theo encouraged him to read and reflect on the works of great thinkers, challenging him to expand his horizons and think more deeply about the world around him. As the weeks passed, Leo's sense of purpose became clearer. He had a natural talent for storytelling, and his passion for writing began to shine. Master Theo encouraged him to pursue this newfound calling and helped him set goals and make a plan to achieve them. With each passing day, Leo's laziness waned, replaced by a sense of determination and drive. He no longer procrastinated, knowing that every moment he spent working on his writing brought him closer to his dreams. The transformation in Leo did not go unnoticed by the villagers. They marveled at his newfound enthusiasm and dedication. They no longer saw him as the lazy boy from next door, but as a young man on a mission. He inspired others to confront their own weaknesses and seek their true purposes. One evening, as the month came to an end, Master Theo called a gathering in the village square. He shared the story of Leo's transformation and praised his dedication. Then, he turned to Leo and said, you will be never lazy again because you have found your purpose. Laziness has no place in the heart of one who is driven by a deep passion and a clear vision for their life. The villagers erupted in applause, celebrating not only Leo's journey, but also the wisdom shared by Master Theo. They understood that laziness was not an incurable flaw, but a challenge to be overcome. With his newfound purpose, Leo continued to write and share his stories with the world. His tales of transformation and self-discovery resonated with many, inspiring others to seek their passions and confront their own laziness. He became a renowned author, traveling from village to village, spreading the wisdom he had gained from Master Theo and helping others find their purpose. Years passed and Leo's name became synonymous with diligence and determination. The once lazy boy had become a beacon of hope for anyone who struggled with their own laziness.
His story proved that with guidance, introspection, and a newfound purpose, one could conquer even the most stubborn of personal shortcomings. As for Master Theo, he continued his journey, helping countless individuals discover their true callings and transform their lives. He left the village, but his teachings lived on in the hearts and minds of those he had touched.